What's up everyone? Well, you know the Dodge Mahal is here, but where are we today? We're in Ocean Shores, Washington, and I'm helping my good friend Matt with one of his ambulance. So this is a 18,000 pound, 900 horsepower, four by four ultimate ex expedition vehicle. <laughs> But really though, this thing has quite the monster solar setup. This video today is just about the solar setup, how we power the air conditioning off of this solar setup, as well as an induction cooktop, um, hot water heater, a lot of other additional features you might not see in a normal rig. So let's dive on in and check it out. This is the battery for the rig, 200 amp hours. That's also the battery, and then that's also one. <laughs> Three 200 amp hours. 600 amp hours and 1,000 watts of solar panels on the roof. Just to give you perspective, my rig has 125 amp hours and 250 watts of panels, and that's all I need, so this guy's gonna be able to do pretty much anything. Run the old uh, coffee maker, whatever. Okay, be careful. Daryl knocked himself out doing that. Oh, no. <laughs> like, straight up, like, knocked himself out. Oh, that's no good at all. A sushi tray? Sushi tray! Ace Hardware didn't have uh, the crimper that I needed, so I have to chisel these on. So you're going to do one, one hit like that into the top to tighten it over, and then you're going to take the medium chisel and do two more hits so it's tight, and then you should be good. Nice, man. Yeah. Wiring up the old inverter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The That's in a big one. Inverter, charge controller. It's all, all that's going to be getting done. All that tonight. Pretty much finishing electrical tonight, right? Yeah. 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 Sweet. I'm going to work on these lights. We yeah, yeah. had yeah. these ones, but these ones are not quite as bright and nice as these gals. Plus, they're LEDs. The ones that you're installing now are warm lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, so these will be a little bit brighter. Yep. For all of you watching, um, you always want to buy the auto reset breakers. That way you're not replacing fuses or anything. Ooh, this trip yeah. set, Click well that. this is 300 amps. That's, it'll break, and then all you have to do is come under here to reset it and go like that. That's awesome. I mean, you, yeah. do, you do pay a lot more. I think it's only like $92. It protects the thousand dollar inverter and yeah. it protects ten thousand dollars for the batteries and everything from getting oversurged and all that good stuff yeah so having relays i have relays in my rig too and yeah. it's way better than changing fuses oh for sure and then i i uh i put solar reflective paint on the top so the white reflects heat no way yeah that's way cool that's such a good idea i love it it works you got all my lights done. You got all your, you got stuff. You're almost ready for power, eh? Almost ready for power. One hot. One hot. One hot wire in there. It's real heavy like. I love that one hot wire. Gotta love it. The reasons this rig has such a big battery bank and solar power system is because it's running an induction cooktop. So this runs all off electric, don't need any propane for that. So that's really cool. The big reason though that it's 600 amp hours is the AC that we're just in the middle of stalling, installing. So that's a 12 volt DC air conditioning. Yep, you heard it right. That AC works off of the battery and the battery charges off of the sun. So from the rays of the sun and the heat coming from the sun, we end up making cold air eventually um, in this rig. And that's really, really cool. I, it's something that there's a lot of debate about. Can you run AC with solar? And the answer is yes, if you have, you have to have a massive solar system. Um, I think this would be honestly like some of the most minimal you'd go for running AC off of solar, I would think. 600 amp hours, um, anywhere up to 800, 1,000 amp hours, and 1,000 watts of panels, again, this has. So 
those are the two biggest features that I see in this rig that are gonna draw a lot of extra electricity and gonna justify the extra amp hours. Um, other than that, there isn't a whole lot of other stuff. There's the water heater as well, which is running off of uh, 12 volt DC, I believe. So um, that, that also would add some things. The great thing about this as well is there's no propane in this truck at all for anything. And that's really cool. Um, we all have to refill propane. Propane ends, it's not free. So it's cool that uh, you don't have to ever refill propane on this rig. So those are the, some of the reasons to have such a big solar um, battery bank and inverter and all that jazz. Kodo, what you doing? Checking out the build. Well, thanks so much for checking out the sweet electrical system on this rig. Should have this thing wrapped up in about a week or so. It's just been an honor to be a part of it. Uh, but I hope you learned something about solar. Drop a comment down below if you do have any questions or ideas for future videos on electricals and how to's and things. And of course, just let me know what you think. Be sure to hit the like if you did enjoy the video and share it with someone else who might like it. And you gotta subscribe so you can see more of these sweet vehicles. The only question is, are you down to mob? Ah!